Northwest Arkansas, geology and our water. Here in Northwest Arkansas, you've probably seen this, or this, or this. But have you seen this? The mountains, bluffs, rivers, and lakes only tell half of the story. Northwest Arkansas is a geological wonderland, both above and below. Some of our most amazing landscapes are only visible underground. This unique landscape is known by a special geologic name. It is called karst. What is karst? Karst areas like those found in Northwest Arkansas are known for having sinkholes, caves, springs, and other unique geologic features. Let's take a look at our state and see where this amazing karst landscape can be found. As you can see on this map, Northwest Arkansas is seated squarely in the Karst region. Arkansas can be divided up into many eco-regions. Northwest Arkansas is found in the Ozark Mountain or Ozark Plateau region. The Ozark Mountains in Arkansas are actually plateaus. They have been formed by water erosion over a very long time. The Ozark Plateaus are made up of sedimentary rock, primarily limestone and dolomite. These rock types are water soluble, meaning they are easily dissolved by water. The sediment that makes up limestone is partially derived from the remains of marine organisms. Scientists believe that the abundance of limestone here in Northwest Arkansas is evidence that it was once an ancient sea. Brachiopods, crinoids, and trilobites are common marine-type fossils found here in Northwest Arkansas. Why is the Ozark Plateau karst? This unique landscape has been formed because of the way that rainwater reacts with limestone and other water-soluble rock. Rainwater mixes with decaying vegetation and soil to create a weak carbonic acid. That acid enters the subsurface through cracks, fractures, and holes reacting with the calcite in limestone and creating caverns and other subterranean formations. Limestone-rich landscapes are very porous or Swiss cheese-like in nature. Because of this, water flows quickly through them with little filtration. This means there is a high risk of pollution. Karst aquifers provide vast amounts of clean drinking water. In fact, more than one-fifth of all drinking water in the U.S. comes from karst groundwater. It's important to note that these aquifers don't just store water, they transport it. Groundwater is often discharged back into the surface by springs that can feed creeks, ponds, rivers, and lakes. Could one of these be where your drinking water comes from? Yes. Most of our drinking water comes from a lake, Beaver Lake. It's fed by the White River and various springs and creeks in the region. With that in mind, we must take care to protect our karst groundwater. What kinds of things can pollute our groundwater? Pollution can wash into the water system every time it rains, so it's important to stop it upstream or before it starts. Common sources of water pollution include pesticides and fertilizers from yards and farms, litter, landfills, and illegal dump sites, human waste from leaky sewage systems, animal waste from farms and pets, gas and oil from driveways, streets, and parking lots, silt or sediment from construction sites and erosion, and household chemicals that are improperly dumped on the ground. Okay, that's gross, but what can we do about it? There are three easy things that everyone can do that will make a big difference. Number one, 
Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Making less trash and recycling means that it won't end up in a landfill or as litter in a creek or ravine. Number two, pick up after your pet. Placing your pet's waste into a trash receptacle means it won't wash into the streams, rivers, or lakes nearby. It's estimated that 62.4% of Arkansans have at least one pet. That's a lot of poo. Number three, plant native. Plants slow down rainwater and their leaves and roots act as filters. Native plants have great root systems and are especially good at this. Native plants are best for our ecosystem. So start doing these three today and you'll be doing your part to keep drinking water clean for all of us. To learn more about native plants and many other natural state topics, contact the Northwest Arkansas Master Naturalist at arkansasmasternaturalist.org.